Hello, my name is Gareth from bzmmicro.com. I'm going to run you through a multi-part tutorial on how to strip down and rebuild your BZM Micro engine. F to do complete this task properly, you're going to need some consumables and some tools. So, to start off, let's run through the consumables you're going to need. You're going to need some Loctite 5699 Premium Grey Silicon Sealant. This will be used for the crank case gaskets and for the cylinder. You're also going to need some blue Loctite, 248 compound discs and a stick. You're going to need some assembly oil. We highly recommend that you use the same, use the two-stroke oil that you're going to run your engine on. Uh, we at BZM Micro highly recommend Bardell KXT Racing two-stroke oil. You're also going to need some specialist tools. Specialist tool being tools being a piston stopper, a piston pin pusher and a flywheel remover. Then you're going to want some general tools. An assembly hammer must be rubberized. Do not use a metal hammer. You will damage the engine. Selection of T-wrenches 4, 5, 6 and 8 mil. A good pair of pliers good pair of needle nose pliers posi drive screwdriver and a pair of micro needle noses also a set of hand allen wrenches and somewhere to put your components once you disassemble them from the engine okay then now you've got all your t tools and consumables together and hopefully you've got yourself a nice tidy work area sorted out Let's make a start at stripping this motor down. First off we need to remove the fan cover. For this we need a 3mm driver. We need to remove the 5 pan head screws that hold the carbon fan cover on. Once you've got the five screws removed, the flywheel cover, fan cover simply pops off. Notice that the pull start is still attached. There are pen nuts in the carbon fan cover. If you really, if you need to take it off, you can do. But just for quick disassembly, you don't need to. You can just remove it as one whole unit. Okay. Now we've exposed our ignition coil and our flywheel. First off, we need to remove the flywheel. To remove the flywheel, we need to screw in our piston stopper to where the spark plug goes. Screw it fully down. And with our plug wrench with the 12mm socket, we need to crack the nut there. Holds the flywheel on. Screw in fully off. Pop it in your parts tray. Then we need our flywheel remover. For this, I like to use a T wrench. So for the screws to screw it into the flywheel, it's a 5mm. Then we need an 8mm for the push nut. Thank you. 
just need to remove the <coughs> flywheel puller. Next, we need to remove the ignition coil. So, to remove the ignition coil, we need to remove the stop switch cover plate. This is a 2mm pan head. And the plate pops off. Just flick the switch out. Okay, next we need to remove the ignition coil. This is a 3mm socket cap screw. Just ease the rubber grommet out with the HT lead and just feed the stop switch back through. Okay, next we need to take the back cover off. This again is a 3mm pan head screw. There we have it, the fan housing. The coil mount is removable. There's no real need to remove it at any time other than if it broke, I guess, but that ain't going to happen because it's a Boisita. So I would just recommend leaving it on there. It is worthwhile from time to time just checking that they're tight. Maybe you're in here in the thread lock, but otherwise there's never a need to remove that. Okay, now we just down to a long block. <laughs> 